The big couloir, I remember the first day I skied it. It's the, it's the run everybody wants to do. You ski the big, you've moved to a new level. It'd be pretty sweet to have blind skiers ski the big couloir. Super sketchy, steep, narrow. It's a lot more nerve wracking because I can't look at it and be like, oh, it's filled in or oh, it's not that steep or there's powder there. I don't know till I'm in there. I rely on my feeling senses more than any of my other senses. It definitely has a lot of fame in Big Sky and I would love to do it. Dad, dropping in three, two, one. Everybody's world changed forever in August of 2014. I think I just turned eight. Parents were saying my vision was kind of getting bad and that I'm like running into things and stuff. And then my mom took me to the eye doctor. Eye doctor said my octave nerve was bleeding. Everybody that's in it knows exactly what I'm talking about. I have a couple friends that have joined it. It's a club you never want to be in. I can remember the exact moment and exactly where I was driving and exactly the phone call. And uh, every moment for the next three weeks that happened after that. So we are ambulance to Bismarck airlifted to Minneapolis, immediate surgery. I had a meningioma, brain tumor, size of a softball. I think my first surgery was 15 hours. And then I was in the hospital for two and a half weeks the first time. I was back, first scan was clear three months later. Another surgery that went on for about four years. I've sat through 15 hour surgeries and his attitude going into them coming out of them, the days after them. Essentially every strength you have in your body to not fall apart in front of him so you can walk out the room. And he just keeps on keeping on. Last year I had my last surgery, then I had six weeks of radiation up to like last winter and then got back on skis. We're still here, he's still skiing, we're still living. We have a kid here still with us today that yes, has lost his vision, but still has not lost his love for life. The School of the Blind gave me some glasses a couple years ago that gave me a perception of what he sees. It's essentially the worst socked in vis day you could ever imagine, and then add in no depth perception. And I don't know how he does it, Moguls, traverses, cat tracks, that stuff's kind of hard to see. Detail's hard to see. If I'm going to hit a cliff, I can't see it, so that's hard. Distance, how far things are, that's hard. I'm colorblind as well. I have no peripheral vision. If I'm like going, then all of a sudden it like drops or something. If I'm not looking at the ground, I just all of a sudden go off of it. You know, he's not just legally blind, he's like a 2800. It's amazing how well he skis and how he basically feels his way down the mountain. And if he has somebody with him that he trusts, it's full throttle. I just want to push him to be the greatest and he's pushing me to be a better skier. It's amazing what he can do on skis. It really blows people's mind. I mean, it blows my mind. He really shows me what people can accomplish. All you have to do is put your mind to it and really just go for it. Andrew, his brother Preston, even his sister Julia, they look out for him and give him the confidence to open it up. You can do this, you gotta check your speed here, we're going to the trees here. They are his guides. I think what has happened over the last four years has brought them so tight as siblings that it's an unbreakable bond. Makes me pretty proud as a dad just when I get to watch it. What would stop a lot of people is not stopping him. Our family's been part of a club that's also very small because of uh, what he's went through. He deserves to go to another club that's pretty small, skiing the big. My name's Jacob Smith, first ever blind skier to ski the big Coulard, at Big Sky Montana. Dad, dropping in three,
two, one. Awesome. Yeah, Jacob. Good job. History just has been made. Forever. That is your title. I will never forget this day. I was thinking I was just going to drop in and full send. Well, people see Jacob ski around. He's just a really good skier. Nobody understands that he's really just memorized the mountain and he's ripping down. He's in a unique position to give other people that have lost their vision reasons to understand that life doesn't end there and you can get back to where you were and there's ways to adapt. All life's worries and problems and stresses just go away the second you click onto a set of skis and you jump on that lift. The world completely changes. All this stuff literally doesn't matter anymore. And I know no matter what happens that he's got a life of that ahead of him.